Hi, everybody. David Silverman here, uh, just outside of Washington, D.C. Um, for podiatry, uh, foot surgery, I'm on a CS Medical Professionals Board. And uh, eight years ago, I was introduced to this uh, remarkable breakthrough uh, by a friend. And uh, it wasn't by a colleague. It wasn't at a, at a CME conference for doctors. My friend brought it to me. And she told me anecdotally what had happened with her mother. And um, she didn't know that my father had a, had a, a real problem in his body with his prostate. Um, and when she told me what happened with her mother's breathing problem, her mother's joint problem, her skin problem, um, you know, it, it just sounds a little too good to be true. And I'm telling you, <laughs> breakthroughs always sound too good to be true to people. Um, it, if you under, once I started to understand it, well, first of all, I saw results on a lot of people. So I was like, well, how is it working for this? Why is it working for this? Why is it doing all these things? It's because it doesn't work like anything else. It doesn't work like a drug. It's not a drug. It's not a nutritional. We all need nutrition. But ASEA is not a nutritional product. This is something totally different. And Renew 28 is the topical version of it. So um, when I explain real in simple terms, and I'm not going into glutathione levels, I'm not going into genetic expression, double blind studies, I'm not going to, I'm going to go into a very simple explanation that seems to make sense to people, and it's a visual. So I'll take a couple minutes. People seem to appreciate this, and so maybe you will too, and maybe you can help somebody. Uh, trying to understand how something that sounds too good to be tr true can be true. So the fact is your body makes redox signaling molecules, reductants and oxidants in your mitochondria. You make them right now, but you made more when you were younger. If you're past puberty, you don't make as much as you used to. It, it, it decelerates when you're little, but really your, your mitochondria produce less and less and less after puberty. And just look what happens to us, right? A five-year-old heals much faster than a 20-year-old. And a 20-year-old from injuries and surgeries, a 20-year-old heals faster than a 40-year-old. 40-year-old heals faster than a 60-year-old, right? As we get older, we heal slower. What else happens as we get older? We get more diseases. You see much more diseases in people's 40s than you do in the 20s. And you see a lot more in the 60s compared to the 40s. Um, our skin changes. We don't sleep as well. We can't fall down like we did when we were younger and just get up the next day and, and don't think about it. We're taking Advil or, or now we're, we're, we're rubbing a lot of gel on us because this, this is so quick for people to see what this does. Um, but there's a whole science behind redox signaling. This is a huge science. There's over a thousand textbooks on it. So let me explain to you my, my way of explaining this, right? So we're producing less and less of these redox molecules and our cells make them from saline. And that's not saline anymore, the reductants and oxidants. And that's not the point of my video here. My point is to kind of get a handle on how something could be so nonspecific in what it does. It doesn't target one thing. We're producing less and less of these and we're getting less healthy and less healthy and heal slower. What's, what do they do? The simplest way to explain this is that they amplify signaling the redox signaling molecules. So if your cells can communicate with one another, things happen better in the body, especially if there's a problem. Think about when you have a problem or a disease. Now, you, let's say you have healthy cells, right? This could be your skin, could be your bone, could be your pancreas, could be your whatever. Um, you have healthy cells, they're functioning, let's say it's pancreas, it's functioning properly, right? It's producing insulin. Now there's something wrong with this one. Well, if it remains, and it's worn out or it's damaged by trauma, it's hard to hurt your pancreas, but just as an example, it could be your bone you injured by trauma. That cell needs to be um, uh, replaced or repaired. How does that happen? The immune system cells that are all throughout your body circulating like little ambulances waiting for calls for help because we, we, we have trillions of cells in our body. There are cells that are wearing out and dying every second lots of them. And if they sat there and remained dead, you would decay, right? And, your, and plus your pancreas wouldn't function right to begin with, right? And God forbid they're mutating. If they're not gotten rid of, boy, that's, that little guy remains, it's going to multiply and now you got a real problem. So how does this whole, how does the body heal itself? Starts with a signal, actually starts with detection. The, the good cells that are around the bad one detect there's a problem. Ooh, we got a problem here in the, in the pancreas or the liver or whatever it is and they send a signal. The signal goes through the body and the immune system cells hear the signal, hopefully. They come down, they grab a hold of the cell, they, they evaluate it, and if it cannot signal repair, it signals the cell to kill itself. It's called apoptosis. So now the immune system cell kills the cell, dissolves it, takes away the debris through the lymph system usually. Now what? Now you have an empty space here. No, you don't, because this cell replicates itself. 
and now you have a fresh baby cell that's doing what it's supposed to do. Now, let's say it doesn't mutate and it doesn't um, knows trauma, but this one's gonna wear out next, right? Because this one's a baby. Now who's gonna call for help? This one does. So what do redox molecules do in your body? Which is, which is what this is. This is identical to what's in you and me and the seven billion people on the planet. What do redox molecules do? That little call for help, the more you have, the louder the signal to the immune system. So now if a child falls off their bicycle at 10 years old, they have so many redox molecules because their mitochondria are producing so much that that signal is loud and clear. So the immune system rushes down to that busted knee or whatever it is, and, and you got bad cells. The immune system comes down, gets rid of it, boom, boom, fresh cell. You have much faster healing, right? Well, as we get older, as I said before, we're producing less and less redox molecules. All you're doing with this is amplifying the signal because you're raising the levels up. Doesn't matter if it's a pancreas cell that's bad. Doesn't matter if it's a bone cell that's bad. Doesn't matter if it's a retina cell that's bad. Doesn't matter if it's a skin cell that's bad. Doesn't matter if it's a lung cell that's bad. If the, if the signal's amplified, then the body can hear that there's a problem and respond faster. That's the miracle of this product. And for people that say, oh, it's salt water, look at the studies if you need to. The best thing to do if people say it's salt water, yeah, take salt water and go find 10 people who are hurting their knee, their back, I don't care, the level of, of discomfort is, have them rate the discomfort level on a one to 10 and have them give you 10 minutes. Tr try it on 10 people and watch what happens to nine of them. Shake it up, rate their discomfort, put it on three times in five minutes. Put it on three times in five minutes, watch what happens. Now, you know, open-minded people are amazed. Skeptics are stunned. Cynics don't believe anything. Don't worry about the cynics. They'll, they'll come later, okay? Don't, if you're sharing this with people, just, just do your best. I shot a little video for someoneyoulove.com, just spelled out for someoneyoulove.com. If that doesn't make them open their mind a little bit, then they're just gonna have to wait. Um, but, um, I'll tell you, if I'm sitting with a, with a cynic, um, I'm kind of hoping they have a little bit of dis discomfort in their body <laughs> and they're willing to say, well, I got nothing to lose, I'll put it on. I don't think it's gonna work. <clears throat> if they're honest, um, you're gonna see something pretty amazing nine out of 10 times. So, so that's my simple explanation as to how, how something that sounds too good to be true can actually be true because it's nonspecific. Whatever you see less of in children, fair game. Can't make any medical claims. Somebody says, will this help my multiple sclerosis? I'll say, I can't say that. Will it help my diabetes? I'll say, I can't say that. Will it help my dad's stroke? I can't say that. Can't say that. There's one thing that we can say. Three words. It can't hurt. That's pretty powerful. It can't hurt. You can't say that about a single drug. This is not a drug. It can't hurt. Number one, you can't be allergic to it. Number two, it doesn't interfere with medications. Number three, they couldn't find any toxicity to this. If you take too much of a drug, you're gonna get sick because your liver can't process it fast enough and your kidney can't get rid of it fast enough. You take too, too much more of any drug, it's gonna kill you. Aspirin, acetaminophen cholesterol medicines, depression medicines, chemotherapy, doesn't matter what you're talking about. <clears throat> you take too much, it'll kill you. This is made from saline. It's in your body. You drink too much of it, you raise your levels back up to what they were. If you have too much of it, your body says, I have enough. It instantly turns the excess back into what it was, which was saline, which is salt and water. So that's why we say we can't make medical claims. We can say it can't hurt, right? And if their body happens to be actually hurting, do the three times in five minutes. So I hope this is helpful. Um, uh, use it as you see fit. I didn't make any medical claims here whatsoever. This is common sense, absolutely common sense. And I did simplify it. If you want the deep explanation, go to the redoxdoc.com, the redoxdoc.com. You want to read textbooks on it? You can absolutely do that. Uh, but the bottom line is with my dad, I didn't care why it worked. I didn't care how it worked. I cared about two things. Could it help my dad with his prostate problem? And number two, what were the risks? To find that there's no risks, it can hurt. That's all I really needed. And I hope that's all you need. Have people try this for 90 days. Recommended four ounces a day the first week. If they're not seeing changes, temporarily double, double it to what we call the magic eight. Eight ounces a day. I drink eight ounces a day every day. But most people don't have to. I just feel, I'm 58. I feel like I'm 25 years old when I drink eight ounces a day. My back doesn't bother me, all kinds of things, sleep better. I do pretty good on four ounces a day, I do better on eight. But if people are not seeing results after seven days, 
no claims they're going to see results, but if they're not seeing changes in the way they feel and so forth, temporarily double it to the magic eight and have them stay there until they have their aha moment and then see if they can decrease it. Okay. Thank you all very much. And uh, I'm going to date this because uh, it's the time of the year. Happy holidays to everybody. Happy new year. Very exciting. But we're so fortunate to know about this. We really are blessed. Thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you.